It looks like we have an uninvited guest. Let's show her who's boss here. Catch her! Alright, so full transparency. I actually had played already. So the developers were kind enough to give me the game a few weeks ahead of time. Uh, there we go. Uh, about a week and a half, I should say. So I pl is in disrepair. Oh, okay. need to put a lot I'll, of I'll tell you in a minute. Away. Hold on. And yet we already have guests waiting to stay here. So let's get the first room ready. Uh look at all this stuff. Let's start by earning some money on this old painting. Use the crowbar to dispose of the junk clutter in this place. And don't hold yourself back. Okay, sorry. Now that she's done talking to me. <laughs> um, I did play. I actually... I, I don't know if I'm going to let the videos go live or not. I scheduled them ahead of time. But there was a massive update today. And it was like my progress reset. Or, or it was that, my, my progress reset. So, uh, that sucks. And it was probably about a loss of about five hours, I think. Um, so I'm undecided what I'm going to do. If I am going to let the other video show or just delete them and then do this one. I, I don't know. We'll see. And again, why are we letting guests stay here? It's a hazard. Th th there's probably lead paint. Weirdos. So this is probably going to be about the only time I'm going to show you completely demoing the walls and the floors because it is horrifically boring and we're going to be doing it a lot. It's this me holding the crowbar like with intense force, like I'm shaking with it, and then destroying things. And if you look to the side there, it only counts if you destroy the entire wooden panel up and down. It's kind of interesting. So early review, I greatly enjoyed the game. I guess I'm not surprised that there is an update pre-release day. This is going to release on release day, but I've actually playing it right the second, uh, the day before. Uh, and the previous gameplays that I played, uh, I played uh, last week, basically. Um, I greatly enjoyed it. I, I know I talked highly about it. I played all the next fest and early demos and test plays. Um, and I liked every bit of it. It was really fun to see uh, the way uh, the progress of where they went with this. Because originally this wasn't what it was, <laughs> of course. And now it's it's this. Which is fun. I don't even mind personally doing the demo stuff. It's just I don't ever, like, it can't be fun to watch for too long. Because we're going to be doing this bit of it a lot. And there is skills you do get where you can demo faster and paint faster and whatnot. I am very concerned about the fact that we're letting people stay here. I just, the hallways are a mess here. Here, come here. I'll show you. 
Oh, it won't let me. Okay, all right, we'll get through the tutorial and then I'll show you. He locked me in the room. Like, she can't be trusted. She's gonna complain about the state of the hotel. No one let her see. Fair enough, fine. Got to destroy. And the interesting thing is, is there no, there's no painting over anything. You have to break yourself down to the brick and then uh, go from there. Now here. Look at that bathtub. Isn't that a beautiful bathtub? I do like the details of the tile sitting on the ground that have fallen off from the walls. Detail. Just the floor. There's a lot of rubble on the floor after all that mayhem you caused. You've got some cleaning up to do. And look, look how we have to hold this. We're just shaking. Like, let me, let me sweep. Let me sweep. So much drama. <laughs> Makes me laugh just the way we're just quivering with anticipation. Like, I can't wait to sweep. Perfect. <laughs> now it's time for a new floor and walls. Choose something modern and tasteful. I couldn't help but notice that it said, "Got it." Funny enough, game. This wasn't my first rodeo. Shocker. I think like there's still one piece of floor left. Hmm. I don't see any. Okay, so I guess uh wall. Oh, we're starting with floor. All right. Um, another let's do carpets, since so that's what we have, and then and you tab over and you scroll to pick a color. Um, and now personally, uh, I seem to favor the tans. Browns, pinks, pastels, uh, earth tones, I guess. So, yeah. Let's just go. That does not match the color. Oh, we don't have the skill. <laughs> I'm already, I'm already spoiled. Okay, so there's a skill we get right after this map that lets us uh, fill a whole room. <laughs> but 
but <laughs> for now we gotta do this. I hope this is this peach color and not white. Because I, I can't actually change it <laughs> in the tutorial. If it's the white, I'll deal with it. That's fine. Nope, oh, it's the peach. No. You see that? I'm gonna say glitches. Do we got the glitches? Oh no. <laughs> We got the glitches. All right. We're off to a great start. Um, so we're going to start with wallpaper graphics. And do something fun. Ooh, you know, this would be fun to do a whole uh, a room with. This one too. Okay. Um, paint. Uh, color. Oh, it's being a little bit finicky. Is this part of the update that happened? Uh, I used to be able to put the pencil anywhere, whether it be sealing, uh, or, oh, I see, two ceiling tiles that escaped their original fate. The nice thing is it does sort of remember uh, your previous uh, use, so you can easily go back if you need to, which clearly do. You? I'm a bit bummed by the floor. Maybe it'll catch up. Uh, Sound of the pencil <laughs> against the ceiling is making me laugh. All right. It 
let's do the bathroom. Do Ramix. Uh, funky wonky colors that you can do. Um, I do appreciate that the different materials have different sounds, like the, the got the clang of the tiles, and then you had the painting and the wallpaper sounds. I do appreciate that. The little details that make me appreciate a simulator. Floors now. Do ceramic tiles. Uh, uh oh, I went. Oop, not that. Now for the most pleasant part, furnishing. Let's start with beds. Guests need to have something to sleep on after all. So in the all the demos that I played, the very this very first room that we decorated, we decorated for Rocker Boys, for a band that uh, they wanted us to make them a room, but they were purposely coming here to give us... Um, they were wanting to film a, a music video in the dilapidated uh, hotel. Like, that was the whole, the whole purpose of it. And they were giving us money to do it. And <laughs> I sort of, I guess, missed that story. Like, I'm not quite sure why they didn't stick with that. Because it, it, it made sense as to why... Everything was so gross. Uh, I can't show you. I mean, you got you got to see it when we first came in, but uh, <laughs> so I sort of wish they stuck with that storyline. I'm not sure what changed their mind. All right. So hard lesson I learned that I want to share with you guys right away, so you know. See how it says the name Arabella, and then it's got the the purple symbol, and then they've got the cost. The higher, the more purple symbols uh, that you have is the higher the rank and the happier the room will be and worth more. Now, of course, we're just starting off so we don't get anything crazy, but uh, I <laughs> learned that the hard way. I am change the colors. I do... Mm. I forgot what I chose for the floor and I'm terrified now that when we leave and come back and if the floor is fixed, the bed's going to clash with it. I think this will work. Alright. Um, two little stands to go with it. And space bar, change it to this wood, and then let's see if we can find one sort of mattress. Completely clashes, which whichever. Okay, we scrolled up through. Or not. Maybe not. Now we have. Okay. Uh, 
fine. Just, just live with it. It's fine. No one cares but me. Oh, that's poor considered decorations. I was looking for the lamp, but I just remembered that. Sure, it matches. Why not? Why not? The fun part is, is I'm not spending too much time paying attention, I guess, to the decoration or to the furniture because we're going to come back in fairly quickly and redo it completely because um, it's going to be one star and we want our rooms to be two stars. So. All right. And we need the dresser. What is going on? Put that there. Alright, two shelves. Lovely. Now for the bathroom. Then we're good to go. Get a toilet in place, I guess that's kind of important, huh? Then will always be its color. All right. Um, back to here. Toilet in place. To here. I will always spend, I'll tell you now, so you're prepared. If you are the same group of people who watch my house flipper videos, you'll know. Um, I spend a stupid amount of time uh, decorating. It is, it is what it is. <laughs> so, uh, be warned. I won't apologize. <laughs> Much. I do tend to, if I get too, like, too into it, like, I just completely forget that I'm recording all together, I will, uh, edit it out oh, and skip ahead so you guys aren't forced to see the whole, the whole of me just sitting here organizing, or sitting here decorating. Not that mean. There. Uh, 
a little, little flower. Little flower flower. Right here. Alright, I think that's it for that. Uh, it does want all lights. There. There and there. Alright. Pictures are really fascinating. Uh, as you can you can hit spacebar and change them. Do that. Uh, oh, one more. And then. Fun little decorations. Don't understand why I can't put them on the windowsill, but you know. There. Put it in open. And is it there? <laughs> They're having us put candles down. I don't know why a hotel would give people candles. Like that seems to be asking for trouble, but what what do I know? Excellent. If your design is ready, you can make the room available for guests. I've had it. I do like they do this cool before and after. That's I, I give them kudos for that. Now, if you look, look, it's so messy. Why? Why? Wow, a golden egg. You better keep it. So let's take a look around real quick. So, I mean, yeah, a neat, nice little, little lobby. Nothing to be mad about, I guess. Right, let's grab the letter. Hey, dear kids, welcome to my hotel. I hope you all have fun returning it to its former glory. You'd be surprised what you might find at the end of the road. Enjoy the journey, journey Roy Bennett. I was right. Letter really is from our grandpa. I really hope we can make him proud. One star ranking. Ooh. New furniture unlocked. Alright, we're just gonna say got it. Thank you. <laughs> Here we go. Let's make a name for this place and start working. Ready when you are. Honey bunny. Alright, 
so let's see last time i did this icon so i guess let's do this one and we'll stick with the name that i named it which was oop, not that at all knights Event. Good evening. My name is Vlad. I'm staying the night and I have a few modest requirements. I like silence. And if I'm disturbed, well, let's say I can get rather hot blooded. Light irritates my sensitive eyes, so I'll need some dark curtains. And please, remove any mirrors. All right, Vlad. All right. Hello, sir. That's a fine mustache you got there. I still don't know if there's like gonna be like a quest or a story thing about us cleaning this hallway, but I'm just I'm just doing it. At least just the quick path that we're taking because I'm so bothered. <laughs> Room 103. So a hard lesson I learned, even though the game teaches you to, um, destroy with the crowbar you actually if you destroy everything with the crowbar you miss the opportunity of maybe making some money off of something because the game doesn't care it'll destroy whatever so i've learned to just hold the mouse and uh get rid of items that way these garbage bags are disgusting am i in a hazmat suit Is that a golden egg I just saw? I will say that the developers gave a pretty darn good look to uh, the decrepit furniture and stuff. It is pretty repulsive. <laughs> Isn't a rug. I don't know what this is, but it is disgusting. How about this toilet, huh? I wouldn't put your butt up, bottom on that. <laughs>
Alright, I'll see you in a few minutes. Uh, I'm gonna save you from watching me destroy all the walls and ceilings and floors. Alright, everything is destroyed. Welcome back. Um, I guess, too, I forgot. Let's look out the window for a minute. Uh, I will say that it has a really good atmosphere built outside. Like, how many simulator games actually have, like, moving cars and NPCs? Not that many. And a fountain, a big old fountain. I have over here. Uh, a lot of twinsies in this town, though. Uh, I can't help but notice. Oh, guys, uh, maybe there's a store nearby that had a special on that green shirt. There's one over there, too. Wait a minute. Talking to his girl. Oh, nope. Nope, another guy walking by with a green shirt. <laughs> anyway. Anyway, let's clean real quick. So, in the style of Lod, he wants um, reds and blacks and candles and curtains. Right. So, starting with the floors, got it. Uh, we'll do wood flooring. Do this one. And now we have the introduction to uh, full room decor. Nice. I appreciate seeing it. <laughs> right. So we've got black floors. Get this. I always, uh, I always forget this little piece right here, and then I there. Okay, now on to the wall. Do a wallpaper graphic. Why not? Something that would make blood happen. Is there it? Oh. Even like this Halloween one. I don't want the Halloween one though. Mm, I'm really not seeing any that I want. The one I did see uh, looked like it was. We don't have it unlocked yet. So do we have reds and blacks? Yeah, really, really hate it. How about this one? Same thing. Ugh. Hate myself. I think that's a bug. I can't convince me that that's a mechanic that this. Okay. 
to fix it. Oh, good. Oh, good. That isn't gonna do it for me. Sorry. Oh, but it keeps its red color. That works. Come back for the... Oh, actually, it should remember. That is a feature I do appreciate that I don't have to hunt the color back down and try to match. The green gray is that what we're going with? Black gray. What is with these little walls like this? Like, why isn't the wall all the way to... I don't understand. Ceramic tiles... I always forget this section here.
So the fun story is, especially the bathroom, I'm going to come back and redo it. I promise. Oh, I forgot the ceiling in here. Whoopsies. So let's do a bed. This bed with that comforter. Do we have black or oh, you know what? I should have like. Now I gotta match my shoes. Cause I wasn't paying that close attention. Um. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Um. Uh, isn't that? Isn't that? Curtains are in place. That sign books. The books over there. Books. Oh, you can see it better over here. Books. A bookstore. I wish you could also change the color of the the wood too, but you can't. Oh, we forgot a wall. Oh no. Uh, eat. Uh, 
Let's be creative. Paper graphics. Get, uh, cladding. Wallpaper pattern. Ooh, I actually really like that. Let's change that and change it. Curious, it does go. Okay. Coffee table. Stars. And then just me. Love seat. Oh, I almost sold it. <laughs> but I have it. bathroom real quick. Let's get that done and over with.
little guy. Put him right there. I almost out of habit almost put a mirror. And <laughs> I just remembered. Vlad wants no mirrors. Much width, she won't fit. Is like special. Right. <laughs> special is kind of funny. It's gonna make sense in a bit, but right now. Just realized, man, I was really sucking at uh, putting all the stuff down. I th well, I think it confused me because it said that we were done, so I was like, oh, all right, we're done. But clearly, we were not. <laughs> all right, uh, let's see, pictures. Do you think Vlad would like a, a puppy in his room? Or a kitten? <laughs> Too high. Right about right there. Oh. Uh, okay. Decorations now. Uh, he's here. Is it raining? What is what is this? What is this? <laughs> This seems like a Vlad, a Vlad decoration. All right, we need candles. How many more uh, decorations? Am I losing my mind? 
I already scroll past all the decoration. This is not where it is. Got to be. But I will put a rug down. In there. In there. Back to... Alright, clock. This. Here. And the thing is, is, I have to tell myself that as desperately as I want to put everything in place, um, there's a lot of stuff that we're still missing, right? That we still have to unlock. And it'd just be plain silly if I uh, go out of my way to decorate heavily because I'm going to go back in. Okay, I think that's it for now. Wait, uh, does this room have... <laughs> Bathroom gets no lights. <laughs> no lights. Nobody can see them seals. Okay. One, two. Alright, lights, lights, lights. Yeah, there's like, I want to put de more decorations here, but. And something here. I will come back for that, though. Uh, Alright, let's book it. Yay, it looks nice. Except for I want something on the walls there. <sighs> Mysterious whim. Go to the basement. Star reward, 2,000. Oh. Hey, fella. Um, you, you go ahead. I'll catch the next one. Uh, you seem broken. Well, this is not what I expected. However, I noticed that the hotel has a basement. Good, I have a look inside. Sure. Sure, dude. Oh. He poofed. Okay. Uh, go this way. Hey, there's our assistant. She's just standing amongst the garbage. She's fine with it. Weirdo. Vacuum cleaner. Nice. This. Oh, automatic cleaning pot. Interesting. Please do not turn on the light. I can see just fine. The interior is dark and damp, just as I prefer. And what is this in the chest? I don't know what's in the chest, but I got an egg. Look at this glorious photo. Oh, hey, Vlad. Pardon me, sir. I really can't see in here, but that's all right. I am purposely avoiding from clicking that. You'll see why in a second. Banana? Banana! Alright, let's click it. Interact. 
Is this the bellhop's uniform? Interesting. The badge says Roy. That's Grandpa's name. The chest is much more comfortable than the bed. I think I will stay here. I will pay for the room, of course. Don't fret. Thank you for understanding. <laughs> Alright, before I... Great. We killed two birds with one stone. While our strange guest sleeps in the chest, our new customer can stay in room 103. We doubled our income. Alright, before I go upstairs and trigger the next part, I'm going to go ahead and stop here. Thank you guys for keeping me company. I will be back with another episode really quick, I promise.